Hi guys, my name is Jen and today we're going to be talking about dresses. I know a handful of you guys have been asking for prom dress videos and this is the closest I'm going to get to it because some of the night dresses you can definitely wear for prom. Well, I think they're prom worthy, but then again, this is coming from the girl who got her prom dress uh, two days before at Forever 21, but that's just me. Okay, let's be honest, who has actually attended a picnic? I know I've only been to two or three in my life, but this is what I would wear if I were going to one. And let me just start off by saying I love butter hats. I think it's the quintessential hat for the warmer months. Even if you look back in like the 2010 videos, I'm still wearing that butter hat. And this is one of my favorite dresses, obviously because of the cutouts, but I really like the sweetheart bustier neckline of the thing. And the skirt is a really nice touch because it's actually a corduroy material, which is really unexpected. And these shoes have been kind of collecting dust in my closet, but I thought I'd bring them out again because it's, it's been a while and I am a sucker for new shoes. The next dress was kind of tricky for me to pair because obviously the entire thing is sheer. So what I did was I basically paired it with a nude bodysuit from American Apparel and I underneath I put a blush skirt from Urban Outfitters and that skirt has mostly been a layering device for me and I'm really glad that I got it. And for these necklaces, I was surprised that they were all from Forever 21. What can I say? They have pretty cheap, great jewelry and I just kind of layered them all together and for a hat, I can't go out of the house with a hat so I wore this beret and for shoes I decided to go with these Mary Janes and I thought the leopard socks were just a fun little touch. Let's say I had to travel back in time and go to prom again I would pick this dress because I think it really exemplifies my fashion. I just I don't want to be too formal and I don't want to be too casual. I think this dress kind of makes it work because it's the perfect balance between the two because the length is what makes it really formal but then the print is what makes it casual and also the slit of the leg makes it really casual and sexy too so that way you can just kind of have fun while dancing and not feeling like a super covered up little grandma moving on to more potential dresses i would wear to prom if i could go back in time this is perfect for me i absolutely love fringe i think the whole flapper um, ideal is really cool. I like what they stood for, I like the fashion, and the fact that this dress is ombre kind of blew it off the roof for me. For accessories, I went with some silver tone jewelry. I don't know why, I just felt like it really, but I just wanted to point out that that is one of my favorite rings right now. I absolutely love the pattern. I'm really into kind of tripped out designs. I wanted to do kind of a, an unusual all black outfit. I wanted to mix textures and this is definitely an outfit I would wear with my friends um, out in the town and I basically just paired it with a embellished sweater that I thrifted and it's one of my favorite oversized sweaters because I love the pattern really. I think it's so cool. I like the rose, the satin roses and the fact that there's pearl embellishments on it and for the dress underneath I thought it was too sequiny so um, I thought it'd be cool to mute it out with the sweater and for shoes I went with my Jeffrey Campbell raids because they're just edgy and they have the silver toned mist that I enjoy okay last outfit guys I just wanted to demonstrate with this outfit that not all lace is extremely feminine you can definitely toughen it up and I paired it with my beanie my favorite one, as well as this cute leather motorcycle vest. And I think what's different about this dress is the color, definitely, and the fact that it's black lace layered underneath. And I think that's what makes it different from the other lace dresses on the market. I went with some gold jewelry this time to match the brass from my favorite new boots, and I'm really excited. I saw these on Nia Says' channel, and I fell in love. So I, I think I ordered it immediately after watching. If you guys have any questions for me, you can direct them to my Twitter, which is I'm Jenim. If you happen to have an Instagram, you can follow me at I'm Jenim if you're interested. Quick updates, I haven't forgot about the room tour. I just haven't had time to finish decorating my room. I had a little bit of time over the weekend, but I still have... I want to get a couch for my room, basically. And it's hard finding a couch that is going to coordinate with my room perfectly. 
So uh, it's just gonna have to wait because I'm kind of a perfectionist, especially when it comes to filming. And I will not film until my room is done and organized. As for a thrifting video, I'm going thrifting tomorrow. So expect a thrifting video by this month. That I can actually promise. Okay, well, I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're going to prom, is prom this month? I, I'm not quite sure, but if prom's this month, have fun. Don't make it a big deal. Don't stress out. Um, just have a good time as much as you can. And if you can't dance, just eat all the food and hang out with your friends. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.